Okay, this is just gonna be a quick little video showing my progress on a current project. So this is a original Motorola 6809 based type two trunking controller. So this was used to run the uh, trunk public safety radio systems, like what these radios work on. And I'm trying to get this controller up and running. Uh, as the name suggests, it does use the Motorola 6809 processor. That's hence why they're called 6809 sites. Uh, this one is pretty much, from what I can tell so far, it is completely functional. It could use a little bit of reflowing, like my unsquelched LED here, which needs some help. But it seems to be up and running as it should be, and that's really annoying. I'll fix it later. So uh, just kind of an overview of the cards here on the very far left. We got the TCI card, which I don't know what TCI stands for specifically, but it controls this card here. Um, each one of these that says site controller is a card that has a 6809 processor in it. All the other ones do not. So the TCI card controls this card, which this card is just five serial ports used for modems. So you can remotely manage the thing. And uh, yeah, asynchronous control board one. You could have another one there and I'll eventually get that. CSC is the central site controller card. This is kind of the main processor that handles uh, like verifying which radios are actually allowed to access the system, handling channel assignment and talk groups and everything. So that's just kind of the main controller. RSC is the receive site controller. It handles inbound packets from radios and controlling the receiver interface board. The IRB is the inbound recovery board. That is basically a really complicated decoder that somehow through some form of logic chip magic is able to decode the inbound control channel packets and store them into memory apart from the processor. And that is really annoying. So that's what that does. And you can see control channel number one is lit, two, three, and four are not. RIB is the receiver interface board, TSC, the label fell off here, is the transmitter site controller. So it controls the transmitters obviously and the transmitter interface board, which that would have a label there that says TIB, but the label fell off. Now, these four cards I do not have. I just bought this one. The Matrix card has a crap ton of cross point switches on it. I don't know what the MCB is, but all I know is the MCB actually has, um, is a site controller card, so it has a processor. PLIB is the phone line interface board. I'll get that eventually. TRIB, I don't know what that one is, but it has, uh, it was made by Zetron and it has a bunch of DSP chips on it. So hopefully at some point I'll get the rest of these cards and we'll get to look into what this does. So in terms of how I have it up and running here, um, I'm using an HP 6623A power supply, which is supplying the three different voltage rails it needs. It's drawing a solid 8.55 amps from the five volt rail, which is scary, but hey, I mean, it makes sense with the sheer amount of ICs in this thing. Uh, up here, ignore the really jank setup. Uh, that's just a hex inverter chip, which I very terribly have connected in there because I don't have DB15 connectors, or rather, I just have one. So that's kind of emulating having a radio connected. I just have two channels enabled, channel one, channel two. Channel one is currently signed as the control channel, so it's transmitting continuously. Uh, channel two would be a voice channel, but obviously it's never gonna be active because I don't have any radios connected to this or anything. But yeah, those two channels are active. And um, I do have the terminal interface up and running. So we got it connected to this modem up here. So if I were to say, enable one of these channels, you'll see it logs an output. See, go back, transmit data. I would show you the terminal interface, except for my desk is really messy and I'll just show it later on whenever I get this fully up and running, but for now, the processors are operating, the run LEDs are on, it is encoding a control channel, so if I hold my headphones up to my microphone here, you will hear the Motorola Type 2 control channel sound, it's responding to the terminal interface, and from what I can tell, it is completely functional, which is great. So. Yeah, uh, hopefully in the near future, I will be posting another video, hopefully having radios connected to this and dummy loads and actually affiliate one of those MTX trunk radios to it and have it up and running for a little demonstration.
But for now, that's the state it's in. It's awesome. And it seems to be completely functional. I didn't even have to recap it, thank goodness. But yeah, that's the 6809 controller.